What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're doing something a little bit different today. We are actually at Copart here in Orlando, probably given away by the title and thumbnail. We're actually going to be swapping out these red F80 non-com seats for the ZTP or competition red seats from Ben, aka Shame M3 S55, his F80 that we will tell you about in just a little bit. But yeah, we are at Copart right now. We are meeting Ben and Wang here, and we're going to uh, do a little quick swappy swap, and we'll keep you guys updated when Ben comes out. But this is actually a super exciting video for me because I've always wanted to get the red comp seats back in my car. For those of you guys that don't know, my car, my F80 is a competition model, but I switched out to the non-comp seats when I switched to a full red interior. But I did this knowing that Ben was going to upgrade to some aftermarket bucket seats one day And he was actually going to give me his seats So as part of a deal with the dash as well as his seats We're finally making it happen today I'm a little ahead of schedule, but I'll let Ben explain why but thank you guys for clicking on this video It should be a good one. Make sure you guys drop a like comment down below subscribe follow the boys I'll put everything in the description below and yeah, let's get into this video. Look who just pulled up That boy Towsons, aka Jonathan Wang in the Tanzanite M4 He's actually here <laughs> to get something for his car. Yo, yo. Vlogging? Yeah, we vlog and we back. <laughs> we're trying. Wang, what are we seeing? Uh, we're, his, his car's just coming out on the porch. Like, this is wild. This is wild. Yeah, that's Shame M3 S55. Oh. <laughs> the people don't even know what happened oh yet. My God. We're going to let Ben explain, but they just whipped his F80 out here like it was nothing, like a little <laughs> toy. <laughs> that's wow. crazy. Wild. Wow, wow. Wild, wild, wild. All right, we just got the uh, stamp of approval from Copart here, so we are moving our cars over there now. And yeah, we're gonna go uh, <laughs> take apart Ben's F80 and uh, put some of the stuff in our cars. Well, here is the uh, fate of Ben Shame S55's F80 build. It was a uh, Short-lived, sadly, but the most important thing is that Ben is okay. Again, when he comes out here, I will let him explain what exactly happened, but RIP to the F80. She was a beautiful build, but you already know Ben's gonna come back stronger than ever, so stay tuned. All right, Ben, first and foremost, we have a story to tell them, but yes. let the people know what happened to the F80, uh, summarize it. We're glad you're alive, most importantly. Right, right, right. <clears throat> so, long story short, I was on my way to work. I was gonna be helping Wang, our buddy over there, Towsons. I was gonna help him put his uh, rear diff brace on for the F8X chassis. It's a uh, highly recommended mod just because the <clears throat> diff bushings for the rear diff brace that go out, the car clunks, is terrible. So on our way to work, I was probably about a football field's length from turning into BMW. Crazy. And I was in the far right lane and there was a Camry in the far left lane. And if you guys are familiar with OBT, Orange Blossom Trail, right there next to Jaguar and BMW, there's a Speedway gas station right there. So as we're passing the gas station, it was the Camry, another car, and me. The Camry all of a sudden swung all the way over into my lane, trying to make it into the gas station. I had no time to stop, and I completely <clears throat> crushed her passenger side. It completely crushed the M3. You guys saw it before, but she completely Right. Just obliterated your driver's side. Yeah, literally all the airbags went off, driver airbags, the side currents, the knee airbags on both sides. Um, so yeah, the car is totaled. Are you okay, everybody wants oh, to- Oh yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, it's gonna take a lot more than that to kill me, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the car is totaled, she's gone. And your initial reaction when it happened, both of you guys, because Wang was right behind you, but- Nah, I couldn't believe it, honestly. Yeah. Because we were actually on the phone. So funny story, we were on the phone, and the moment I saw her, I knew it was inevitable. Yeah. I knew there was, there was, there was no point. There was no point. I couldn't stop in time. There was nothing. So I literally remember saying the words, oh my God. And then the split second after that, boom, collision. That's crazy. Shit breaks. Yeah, shit and breaks. Like I hopped the curb. It pushed her car all the way over to Kia. Like it was, it was a bad accident. That's <laughs> um, insane. Again, we're glad you're all right. Same here, with Wang. <laughs> Wang has another story to tell, which we'll tell a little later, but uh, yeah. what are we doing today, Ben, with uh, your old F80? <laughs> you know, <So, laughs> you gotta tell the people what we're doing. Today, we are here at Copart. 
uh, removing some parts. So <laughs> I know the F80 is gone, but I would still like her to live on in my friend's cars. So Viet, he's finally gonna get the competition seats back in his competition. <laughs> so I'm giving him both my front seats since the airbags didn't deploy in there and I'm taking his old ones, uh, being that they are the same. Um, so, you know, there's no issues there. I told um, the people that, you know, this is a little uh, ahead of our schedule, but. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. it's happening though. It's happening, it's happening. And then uh, Wang, he's taking my, um, my CID screen because mine is touch screen. Yep. And it's already out, already been replaced. Wayne's um, quick with it, Wayne's quick with it. <laughs> yeah, so he's taking that and then uh, I'm also taking the Euro tail lights nice. uh, just because I know how expensive they are and I might be able to sell them. Yep. So I have the OEM ones ready to slap back on and be done. But. Yeah, and then uh, I see your trunks open. <laughs> how did that happen? <laughs> oh, wait, your rear seats? <laughs> you want to explain? No, what, no. What to explain? This reminds me of what we need, the dash. You need a small Asian. You need a small, yes, first and of all. A Hulk. You need a small Asian, you need a Hulk, and you need a mini Hulk, <laughs> and then it's accomplishable. Yep. Yeah. So, the reason why we always tell you guys if you're doing anything with disconnecting your battery, to leave the trunk open or tie something so it can't latch is because if the car were to lose power or if you leave the negative battery cable off, you wouldn't be able to get the trunk open, right? And in my case, and ask anyone's case, how we know. right, right, ask us how we know. <laughs> Anytime the vehicle's in a car crash, the BDC severs the connection between the front uh, jumping post and the battery itself, just so nothing else happens. So we literally tore apart <laughs> my rear seats. That's why you're seeing yeah. them on the ground over there. So what happened was his rear seats were still latched. His trunk yep. was closed. Yep. And then although, although he had this jumper box on the front battery, uh, when you get into an accident, he explained that the uh, battery in the front disconnects from the rear. So even though he was jumping it from the front, this rear battery right here, which was still plugged in, wasn't receiving any power. Right. So Brian from Keys Motorsport says it all the time. Make sure you put like a little microfiber right here so that this doesn't happen. Exactly. And we are honestly screwed. <laughs> I, I thought, you know, we were gonna get the seats, it's all good. Yeah, no, Shit I, happens. I thought we were phone. screwed too. He was on the phone with some of his, uh, his coworkers and they were saying, you kind of shit out of luck. Right, but, but they forgot one thing. They forgot one thing. <laughs> Tell them what that is. I'm the GOAT, baby. The heart, baby. <laughs> He's the GOAT, and so, this is why. Tell so what him. we did was, we took off both pillars on each side. That was Wang's idea to take off the pillars. So once the pillars came off, we saw that there was a T50 bolt holding the actual seat itself. Mm -hmm. into the body. So once we removed that T50 bolt, <clears throat> we had to literally go Hulk mode and we had to bend this enough to where Wang, small Asian, came in and he was able to wiggle his arm and his body back there far enough while using like a small flathead or a long flathead to unlatch the seat itself. Once <laughs> the seat was unlatched, it fell down. We were able to pop the trunk with the emergency release. We got power to the battery. Crazy. Now we can get to work. Crazy. <laughs> so he was able to barely finesse his way to pull this latch right here and shit happens which is crazy i should be helping but ben just manhandling this seat <laughs> really quick definitely done this a few times 180. putting the comp back in the comp she is. never thought i'd see this day it's crazy i should be helping but ben got the uh, old seat out in probably like five minutes it was just a uh, four t50s the airbag connection and then the seat belt as well but that's it's crazy you're good you're good <laughs> yeah no i was making sure i didn't scratch Woo! <laughs> <laughs> one done one done here is my old secure orange driver's seat i don't know if you guys will be able to tell but it's super super slick Super worn from the previous owner. I think this came out of a 2015, but when I originally swapped it, I didn't care because I was getting secure orange again. But thank you to Ben. Again, this is what I mentioned in my GTS hood video. When times are tough, the man just comes in. <laughs> and when times are tough for him, he still comes in clutch. So make sure you guys do me a favor, support both of them on Instagram, YouTube. Ben is absolutely the GOAT. So while Ben's installing my chair, buttoning it up, do you have any uh, future plans that you want to share with the viewers? What's what's next, or what do you have in the pipeline? I guess maybe next year. I'm broke. <laughs> 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 no, um, I don't really know. I'm not really in a rush. Yeah. Um, for the for you guys that don't know, I have a daily, um, and I also have a 335i. So now I'm going to allocate a lot more money to finishing the 335i. 
and then I'll have that plus my daily. So I'm not really in a rush. Um, we'll see what time, you know, allows. Yes, sir. The market right now, the world is crazy for cars. Yep. Um, and I always told myself if I ever lost the F80, God willing, yes. he allows me. I would like a GT3. You guys um, heard it here first. Yeah, I heard it here first. I would like a GT3, but like I said, we'll see. Hey, anything's you know, possible, man. Anything. What happens in time. Yes, sir. So Comeback's going to be greater than the setback. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> Super sunny right now, but you guys can see already one of the comp seats are back in. And man, I couldn't tell you guys how much I've missed the cutouts and the competition seats. So again, I owe Ben my life for doing this. <laughs> he got these in and out in like 20 minutes. So almost done with the passenger side, but dude he's putting the competition back in the competition of my car passenger side is now in just gotta connect all the batteries button everything in and that should be a wrap god damn they look so good again i'm incredibly thankful for ben for not only the seats but the extended leather dash that we installed a few months ago as well don't worry though i'm compensating my boy He's doing me a solid, so you already know. You gotta return the favor with friends like this. Keep them close. <laughs> Again, thanks to Ben. Thank you, bro, if you're watching. You the man. Yeah. All right, we are wrapping it up here. Wang just took off Ben's old diffuser. We also took out his Euro LCI taillights and put his OEM ones in. Ben also took out his Alcantara and Performance armrests. And Wang, again, just took off the diffuser. And then I think that's all she wrote for today's order. Uh, so sad to see, but Ben will be back better than ever. You already know. In Jonathan's car, he switched out the new I drive screen because Ben's is touchscreen, and then I think he ch he switched out the uh, radio trim as well. But that was an easy job compared to what we just did. All right, everything is buttoned up. How we came, how we saw it. Obviously, his car now has my old seats, his OEM armrest again, and what else? And now he has Wang's old I drive screen. But uh, we're gonna leave it essentially how it came obviously this video is not going to be released until uh you know the insurance process is over but i thought it'd be some interesting interesting content for you guys to see you know the teardown of ben's beautiful f80 m3 that's all she wrote the final send-off bittersweet man and yep that's for sure <laughs> In the beginning, the M3, she's gone, but she will live on. But Ben's friends. still here, but Ben's still here. Exactly. Make sure you guys do us a favor. Follow them on YouTube, Shrug Media. Shrug Media. <laughs> and make sure you guys check them out. Who knows, in a few months, he might be GT3 Ben. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, like he said, his F80 will definitely live on through all of our cars. Mine, Wang's, we'll keep the GOAT mantra going. <laughs> but check out Ben's new whip, though. V6 Challenger, Mopar boys. That's a rep. Rough. <laughs> Keep the shades on, the tears might come, man. For real, for real. It's just sweat. It's just sweat. It's just it's sweat. sweat, just sweat. Now, but you guys see it here. I mean, if this was my car, I'd be definitely super emotional. This is just crazy. But bigger things will come. All right, we are back in the F80 with our brand new competition seats from Ben. <laughs> I can't believe we just did that. And man, these are in pristine condition. I'll show you guys a little later when we get home, but your boy's back. Again, thanks to Ben for this huge, huge move. I feel like this is like a missing part of my car that I haven't had in like over a year. But again, this is a send off for the infamous Shame S55 F80. He will still be here with his 335 build though, of course, and he also has a 98 Corolla. <laughs> but uh, he'll be back in a different car. Who knows what it'll be, but make sure you guys follow Shrug Media on YouTube and Shame S55 on Instagram to stay tuned and see what Ben gets next. But let's go ahead and head home. What up YouTube? It has now been, I think a few months actually since the last clip that you saw. Uh, we actually had to wait for Ben to settle everything with insurance, of course, before 
<laughs> I posted anything to social media and uh, he actually just dropped a video explaining kind of everything and uh, an update for you guys to see. So I'll be sure to link it down in the description. Make sure you guys follow them on Instagram, ShameM3, as well as Shrug Media. But I just wanted to give you guys another look at these competition seats now that they are in my car and I have actually worn them in uh, for a few months now. Again, they are so beautiful and this is like the finishing touch to my F80 really. I originally wanted a uh, black or white F80 when I was buying one with red comp seats and at the time I couldn't get that. So after what, three years now, we finally have the red comp seats in the car and again, he put the comp back in the competition, baby. I'm super, super happy with how they turned out and I absolutely love the cutouts. These grip you in so much better than the uh, non-competition seats absolutely loving them f80 is looking crazy we just got done filming some reels for the week we put the white drls back in since the last time you saw this car and yeah the red literally just ties everything together red on black goes so hard and one more final update before we wrap this video up is uh ben actually had the blacked out ind badges which we uh <laughs> transferred to my car as well so yeah this also just tied in so perfect with the uh murdered out theme that i have going on so of course we transferred those over uh, actually the same day I just haven't posted anything or made a video about it obviously because we've been waiting for Ben to square everything away with insurance but check out the black roundels they look absolutely stealthy clean and tie in just again with the whole theme that I have going on with my car let me show you the backside as well check it out so sick Again, it's such a small detail, but makes a huge difference. The silver or chrome really kind of stands out, and this black just ties in, again, with everything that I ever had planned for this build. But that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you guys drop a like, comment down below, subscribe, follow your boy on Instagram, follow Ben and Shrug Media on YouTube as well. Again, everything will be linked in the description below, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.